Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'll yield back. Distinguished uh, ranking members, recognize for any questions you may have. Well, thank you. This has been an interesting uh, conversation that's gone on, uh, uh, Dr. Fox and Dr. Burgess, but I'm trying to think about what it has to do with the bill before us. General immigration policy, what you feel about more migration, I mean, that's one thing, but that's not what this bill is, is, is dealing with. This is dealing with a specific issue about housing migrants in gymnasiums and schools. Um, and so I, the, the conversation my friends just had was interesting, but it doesn't seem to relate to the bill that we're dealing with. I'm trying to understand what this bill does. Um, Dr. Fox, does this bill have the force of law? Um, Mr. Go Mr. McGovern, you know what an H.J. Res does. I do, but I, I just want to make sure you did. It's a sense yeah, of Congress. Right. right. Yeah, so, so it's, a, it's, a, it's our opinion. Um, but it, it does, I mean, you, you, some, I think you mentioned we need to shut this practice down. This bill doesn't do that. It's, it's, an, it's, it's the opinion of those who vote for it. Am I correct? That's right. Let's, All right. It's let people right. know where we stand right. Right. on an issue. And I'm just trying to understand how many gymnasiums in New York City or New York State are currently housing um, migrants right now? My understanding is it was 20 or so. Well, I'm, I'm, because I'm, I don't know in other places how many. No, I, I, the other reason why I'm a little bit confused is I'm reading from your report the, that the majority prepared. Um, and it says here, um, it, it talks about in New York City, um, while a community outcry, outcry ultimately put a stop to New York City's plans. I'm trying to understand, does that mean it stopped or is it still ongoing or? Well, I think they announced they wanted to do it and then there was an outcry in and the so, so right right now, at least in New York City, I. I because this, this is focused on New York City. I'm just trying to understand, is it your view that at this moment that no schools in New York City are doing this? I don't, I don't know for certain that that's yeah. the case. I know, but we're bringing a sense of Congress resolution to the floor, decrying a, a practice that we want to end that may... Well, we don't be, want it to be, happen and, in the future. Well, we but, 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 but this doesn't do anything to prevent anything from happening in the future. I mean, this just basically, as you admitted, is, is a sense of Congress resolution, which is nothing more than our opinion. But, Who cares? but that doesn't mean that we could not do something after that. No, we, no, can we, we could thing. do anything. I just want to establish that this bill does nothing. I just, I just want to make sure that I'm clear on this. That this bill does nothing. Mr. Uh, uh, Mr. Scott, do you have any... I mean, does this bill have... Do something that I don't understand uh, it, here? It's a um, resolution expressing an opinion without the force of law. Yeah. And normally we would bring them up under suspensions. Most resolutions are brought up on suspensions aren't even marked yeah. up yeah. in committee. Yeah, I, there must be some like secret committee within the Republican conference that sits around and tries to come up with creative, you know, ways to drive wedges uh, in our country or to you know, create issues where, quite frankly, they're not really issues. But, I mean, the idea that we are in the Rules Committee bringing up a sense of Congress resolution, which is our opinion, uh, for those who vote for it, um, that doesn't have the force of law, that doesn't provide any assistance uh, for alternative housing, um, if, in fact, this practice is, is being used, that doesn't provide any assistance, uh, there's an issue about learning, issue about learning loss, doesn't provide any additional assistance to schools where that may be an issue. Um, I don't know. Dr. Fox, am I missing something? Do you want to add anything? I'm, you're more than welcome no, to. No, sir. Oh, oh okay. I, I thought you wanted to be recognized. Um, yeah, I, I, I mean, I, I think this is just another attempt to demonize immigrants, um, which my friends have become so gifted at. Uh, and it is so destructive um, and so unfair uh, and such a waste of our time here. Um, I'm trying to also, I mean, and as, you know, as I pointed out in my opening statement, uh, Ranking Member um, Scott has also pointed out, I mean, we do have a problem when it comes to school safety with regard to guns. Um, and silence on the other side. I, I shouldn't say silence. Last year we moved, last week we moved forward on a bill that would make it easier to kill people. 
for people who uh, want to do harm to students and to others in this country. I, I, I don't even, I mean, I, this is kind of a big nothing burger, uh, with the exception of the fact that it adds to this anti-immigrant climate, which has been so destructive. It's not about a solution. It's about beating up on people. Uh, in many cases, people fleeing violence that none of us can possibly imagine. Um, does anyone have an opinion on governors who, without coordinating with other states, drop off migrants uh, in those particular states? I mean, do you think that that's something that governors should do, Dr. Fox? Well, that isn't the subject before us, and I haven't really uh, given any thought to that. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I think um, one governor is being sued yeah. for dropping them off in Massachusetts. Yeah. Right. Would well, the gentleman yield for a moment? I'm happy to yield. Well, look, my ask of Secretary Becerra and Secretary Mayorkas was could we please let these small communities and small school districts know what is headed their way? And they wouldn't do it. They wouldn't answer the question. They wouldn't even dignify it with a response. So how can you be critical of my governor who's sending migrants to other cities and you say he's not, he's not notifying them? Hills Mills, Texas is not being notified. Well, I'm, just, these I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm referring to, um, it wasn't your governor, but I think it was the governor of Florida, who uh, dropped off some, uh, without an, any announcement, uh, migrants in Martha's Vineyard, Massachusetts. Now, our governor would have been happy to work with the governor of Florida to accommodate uh, those migrants, because actually, you know, we don't spend all our time beating up on, on migrants, and we understand that, that uh, the situations that many of them are fleeing are, are, are quite desperate. Uh, but I, I, again, this is just part of a, 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 a string of cruelty that my friends on the Republican side have you know, manufactured. And uh, look, immigration is a serious issue. Uh, dealing with the migrants who are coming into this country is a serious issue, and we need to deal with it. This is not. I mean, and this is creating the impression, well, an impression that, quite frankly, is, is not a reality. Um, so anyway, well, it's good to see everybody. And um, you know, we'll bring this up on the floor tomorrow. But I just, again, I appreciate Dr. Fox reminding all of us that this bill does absolutely nothing, has no force of law, does absolutely nothing. And with that, I yield back my time. I, I, I did not say that. I said the bill allows people to voice their opinions on the subject. Yeah, well, I guess, I guess um, voicing opinions is a lot different than a bill that has the force of law that actually does something. Well, there's a hell of a lot of voicing of opinions in this committee every day. Well, I, I, you, I, and, I, and I know, and I, and, I, and I regret the fact that our side doesn't take up the lion's share of the voicing of opinions. But the bottom line is uh, this bill does nothing. I yield back. Gentlelady from Minnesota is recognized for any questions she may have.